Hello, and welcome back to the Ambassadors of Gaming. I'm one in your army of hosts, Ambassador Michael, and today I want to discuss with you Neo 2, the sequel to the critically acclaimed uh, Souls-like Japanese uh, RPG, has finally gotten its sequel on PS4, a uh, much-anticipated title for me, one of 2020's most anticipated, and... So I've spent a, a bit of time with the game. I've probably completed about two or three missions at this point. Uh, more or less, the game's not going to change much from there. Uh, it seems like it's following a lot of the same sort of uh, ideas and things that originally happened in the first game and kind of just built upon that and built uh, extra layers, some extra things onto it. And feels like a more complete game not not that there was anything wrong with the first one but this one definitely feels a lot more refined it feels like everything's a lot smoother it's a lot cleaner um, animations feel nice everything feels a l just a lot more polished here in Neo 2 than it does in the first game and so the visuals are looking great the sound is really good combat is I think really fun and snappy uh, each weapon continues to have its own playstyle. As you see here, we have tons of weapons uh, that the game offers you, both heavy weapons, uh, light weapons, smaller weapons, and they all obviously have their own stats and abilities. And so they really hunkered down, I think, and just kind of doubled down on the things that really worked and then added in things that complemented those systems in the sequel here. Uh, the sequel is also a prequel in terms of story if you care about that i don't particularly think the story is very riveting in the original neo i think it's probably like the least interesting thing about the game uh and i find that to be the case here as well you just seem to be a mercenary so far uh, which isn't particularly interesting to me but you know is what it is regarding the combat pacing and the level design is really where these games these types of games shine these souls born like games and so enemy placement's really important I mean, the asset placement is really important the way you flow through a level is really important and they continue to just have really good level design in these games where you'll go and you'll take a path and it loops back to where you just were so you can get back to a shrine so you can save your progress and move even further and i just really like a lot of the way the systems in this game are designed and implemented um and honestly if you jump straight up from neo 1 to neo 2 you're going to feel pretty involved. Uh, one of the big complaints I did have is is that I played Neo 2 a bit as we just recently put out the video for it, uh, the best games of the generation. And so I was a bit more familiar. I got a lot of that snappiness back for myself uh, playing the game. But one of the big things this game does is it introduces a, a demon-based system. Um, as you'll see in the upper left, uh, there's a monkey. There's a little yellow bar at the bottom that fills up, and when it fills up completely, you can basically turn into a demon. There's also a purple bar you can barely see at the moment uh, underneath the green bar, the stamina bar, that fills up and allows you to have demon moves. And so there's a lot more uh, two-button combinations that you need to use to kind of deal and activate those. I don't think they're necessary. It, they don't feel like, oh, I can't beat a boss without it or whatever, because like I said, it, it follows a, a lot of the same beats as the first game. And so you can do it without, but it feels like an addition and a good system. It, it's a lot like uh, the systems in like God of War or something where you get a, a really big power boost for a very, very small amount of time. Um, and this one is very, very small because it basically what it does is when you turn into a demon, uh, I'm not sure I actually have footage of that here, but uh, all three of those bars just become one bar. And so your demon bar, stamina, and health are all kind of intrinsically linked during that time. So you run through that bar very, very quickly. Um, and then once that bar runs out, you change back into your human form. And uh, everything is the way that it was before. So the demon system is one, the yokai system is a, one that's a bit different in this game. Um, it feels very different. Um, but again, I feel like it's a, it's a worthy addition to this game versus being something that hinders it from being as great as the first one. Um, my concern is that based on this one, it is very, very similar to the first one and it might get overlooked by some people because it's so similar. But if it's something you enjoyed and you just wanna get back to it and you wanna play something new in that type of genre, this is definitely worth looking into. I definitely think it's more fair than Soulsborne 
types games because it doesn't have really those hidden enemies those enemies that just like there's no way you could have known they were coming unless you're you've played these games like a million times and you just dodge around every corner and so the enemy placement i think is really well done here um it, as you're seeing they're kind of like they're not hidden like i was saying in the Soulsborne, but they do kind of blend in with the environments a bit but if you're paying enough attention like their health bars are there so it, it's not hard to find enemies in this game it's not hard to see, kind of see what's going on as you see here i walked into the door with my sword and i immediately guarded because i'm used to those types of souls games uh, as you can see here that's this guy just popped out of a chest um i'm not quite sure what this is i think it's a mimic of myself um uh, i'd never really encountered these guys too much before so they're uh this this is new to me i don't recall beating the first neo i think i got to like the end boss and then gave up because it got really really difficult um and then i stopped playing it and as you do with these types of games you stop playing them it's very difficult to get back into unless you start from the beginning um so regarding the beginning of this game and like i said it it, it is very much a continuation one of the things that i would highly recommend uh everybody do if you're going to play this game is do all the tutorials i had to go in back and do them all and it was a huge pain in the ass to try to find them and get back into them and kind of get the swing of things uh, but overall, I think Neo 2 is just uh, a complete version, a more complete version of Neo 1. Um, I do have a few concerns if this is the trajectory of the series. I obviously don't want each one to just be iterative of each other. I would like them to kind of feel a bit different. Um, but I'm interested to see what else they could do with it because this feels like a very definitive version of what the original goal was. Um, and as you can see here, this is one of the the yokai. This is how you actually you know fight yokai. I fought this guy a handful of times already, so like I have his move set memorized pretty well, um, and kind of how to go about them. But those red flashes, as you saw, I was parrying, um, which is really nice uh, in this game. I really like the parry system. I don't recall there being a parry system for bosses in Neo One, and that's a huge. It was a huge pain because they have big sweeping attacks and things like that. In this game, there's just specifically a system built for that, and I like that a lot. Uh, I like this game a lot. I think it's really, really good. I think it's really worth your while, but I really think you should play them both so that you can get something that's a little less complex uh, and, and really build on it because I'm not sure that this one's really meant for new people. I think that's the, the one big downside that it has is that it, it seems like it's more designed for people who played the first one to continue on playing it versus okay like we're making a sequel let's introduce a whole new group of people to this the genre in this game um so if if i had one negative thing to say about the game that would be it uh, you know i i wish it did have like that dark souls-esque open world aspect to it it doesn't they're all like pre-designed map layouts and they're they're smaller maps they're not huge um you could probably get through one in about an hour from start to finish from you know all the times you die as you saw here and you have to backtrack and all that kind of stuff get items things like that so but ultimately again i think neo 2 is a worthy lineup uh a worthy game to add in the lineup of playstation 4 games uh i wish xbox players could experience that as well because i really think um these types of games are lacking in that ecosystem um and i'd really like to see kind of how it looks on xbox one x and all that kind of stuff but uh, Sony publishes these games outside of Japan, so that's unlikely to ever happen. So if you have a PS4 and you're looking for something new or, or interesting, I would definitely recommend just picking them both up. Neo 1 can't be any more than like 20 bucks digitally because I'm pretty sure it's in the Greatest Hits collection now. So at most 20 bucks for that game. Uh, this one's 60. Uh, but I, I would definitely recommend you play them both in tandem. This is not really gonna go well for you it's, you're gonna have a lot harder of a time trying to pick this one up because of the way it assumes that you've played other games so until next time friends i'm ambassador michael please let me know what you think of neo um if you're unaware daryl hates these types of games that's why i'm playing it and and uh reviewing it and so you know i want to hear what you guys have to say what you're thinking about it how you feel about these types of games whether or not neo seems like the type of game for you and of course, uh, we would like to know 
of course. Uh, what you're feeling, what you're playing. If you have any suggestions, things like that. We have a couple more reviews coming up in the next couple of days. We got Doom and Animal Crossing coming up. We're just a bit behind. I had some health-related stuff going on, so we're a bit, bit uh, behind the schedule. So uh, we appreciate your time. Thank you very much for watching. And uh, if you could do any of the engagement type stuff, it would be really appreciated. Like, like sharing, subscribing, and uh, sharing this with uh, your friends or in groups, anything like that. We would like to get the word out to the people. Anyways, friends, that's all for me today. Goodbye.